Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lorraine. Um, this video is going to be a compilation of videos of the care and healing process of having gauges done. So these are all going to be different days, different times, uh, but all related to my gauges. And I hope you like the video. Um, Thank you so much for clicking on this. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Hi, so it's getting swollen. Not painful. Like, I can finally spin them and move it up and down. I really want to clean them. I don't know if I'm going to just put the tunnels in. That's what I want to do. Um, but I don't know if that's what I'm going to do, or if I'm just going to take this rod out and have to remove this off and clean it up. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. So. Because this isn't painful to move from the area. This right here, it like stings. So I'm really concerned about that. This side. The hole is definitely there. and put some ice on my ear and I'll give you guys an update if I do something else.
<laughs> Did it hurt the same? Mm-mm. Hold on. So, we took out the tapers, which are the ones that go from big to thin. So it's kind of like your, your finger, like it's smaller, like the thinnest part is right here, the biggest part is right here, and the biggest part is where the actual gauge is. Um, so we took them out, My this ear was infected, this ear had some pus, so we took both of them out. This one was the one that was giving me the most pain, so anyways we took them out, we had them in like uh, wrapping with a sea salt water solution um, that is actually really good for piercings and so after we took them out uh, my mom cleaned my ears like really really good and I, I was literally crying and so then we put another gauge in I went to a six and that's what the size tapers were these are an eight and my ears feel so much better just without the tapers it feels so good um the tapers were really heavy and like my ears they had it like crooked it was so weird i didn't like the tapers at all but yeah a lot of people say like don't wear the tapers that's just the tool not the accessory um, to get these, or if you're gonna wear t the tapers, get the acrylic or the lighter kind. So anyways, my ears feel so much better. They're not as swollen. They're still swollen, but that's cause, like, it's clearing up all the pus and stuff that's inside. Um, but, like, I could lay down without it throbbing. It hasn't been throbbing, which is amazing, cause the throbbing was the worst part about everything. Uh, my nose piercing is rocking and rolling like I don't even think I really noticed it at the time until I'm like blowing my nose or like I'm trying to like scrape the inside of my nose so this is the infection this is all the pus that's coming out I just clean my ears for 30 minutes. Not because I have to do it for 30 minutes, but like it took 30 minutes. I have three canker sores in my mouth. They're annoying. One, two, those right now. This one had a lot of pus. I actually got the pus sack out. This one's so red. See, this one's red. It's really, really good. I'm gonna show y'all the nest. Okay. This is pink. This is the right. The sacks causing a little breakup. This ear still feels kind of sore. This one kind of. I can tell you what, it's starting to feel a hell of a lot better than it ever used to when it first filled. One piercing's in the way. Sorry, honey. All right, it's on. Did it hurt? No. Good. I do think you need to clean up now, though. Cause... Yeah. Some shit came out the little tube. 
and one whole reef deep. Hi, so, um, I'm gonna be ending this video. This is the one that's gonna be of all the cleaning process, the pus, the pain, everything. It's currently been a whole week since I've had gauges, since I got them pierced or ear stretched. Um, the process was grueling. Um, Thursday, the swelling went down. Um, on Friday, no, on Thursday night, I was able to lay on my ear. Friday, there was no more pus. Saturday, I was able to, like, press my ear up against, like, someone's face, like, hard, and it didn't hurt. So, I mean, from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, were the most painful days. I didn't even, like, I could barely sleep, um, Monday night, Tuesday night. Actually, Tuesday night, Wednesday night. <laughs> I could barely sleep. <sighs> they were so swollen. Actually, on Wednesday, when I went to sleep, um, this gauge had came out. I actually had the, um, oh no, I did have these. Um, I had the tunnel in, and my mom hadn't put the, the back band on, the O-ring. And it fell out, and I was able to just pop it right back in with no pain. Um, I cleaned it up and stuff, obviously. Um, but that's about it. Other than that, those three days were really bad. I was scared that I was just gonna, like, give up and just be like, fuck it, I don't want anything in my ears. I stuck it through, and they're clean and healthy, and they're fine. Um, I love having them, actually. Like, I really do enjoy having cages. I wanted them since I was ten. Um, I cannot wait to go back to a six. I'm an eight right now. I had to go down. My ears were really bad. Um, yeah, so that's about it for the gauges. Um, like I said, they were really painful. It makes you want to quit, but it don't. It gets better. Your body heals itself. Um, you see, like, they're all clean. The skin around it is back to, like, a normal ear color. Um, I'm probably going to pierce my other nose hole. But the thing is, is that allergies are so bad that I'm just, like... <sighs> I still want to do it, though. Um, yeah. Um, I was going to pierce my belly button. Uh, but we had some trouble with the forceps, so I ordered a new pair. And then I'm just waiting for my belly button to heal. It's bruised, actually. I didn't even realize it. But it is bruised. Mm, I hate allergies. Um, but yeah. Oh, and I'm waiting for my helix piercings to come in so I can pierce them. Um, I actually bought some belly button rings, too. I got four helix piercings. A Mother's Day gift for my mom. Yeah, I think I just got seven things. I'm waiting for those to come in the mail, along with the forceps, and then with my mom's bigger mother's day gift but anyways i'm just rambling now uh today's monday uh april 29th it's officially been a week with uh -huh. these gauges and they were worth it they were worth it anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoy this compilation video of everything that went into having them come out like this but yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up or comment down below of an idea you have for me to film. 
and I'll have a bunch of videos coming out as soon as I can edit them and get them together. Anyways, <laughs> thank you. Bye.